Hello everyone and welcome to the Mustache Cube channel. Today I am here with How to Kalo Ren, Battlefront 2 Complete and Updated Hero Guide. Before we move on, be sure to drop a like and to subscribe if you are new here because it helps me a lot growing my mustache. 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 First, let's talk about abilities and star cards. The first Kylo ability is Pull. Kylo pulls his enemies towards himself to get them in range of his lightsaber attacks. The second Kylo ability is Frenzy. Kylo Ren leaps from foe to foe, attacking with the Frenzied Rage lightsaber attack that deals high damage. Kylo Ren only moves onto the next target after the first one is dead and this ability attacks 3 times on a row. While this ability is active, Kylo receives less damage. The last Kylo Ren ability is Freeze. Kylo freezes his enemies in place, immobilizing them for a small duration. Now let's move on to star cards. The first star card I recommend is Frenzied. This is Kylo's health on kill star card which grants him 20 HP back when he kills a trooper and 100 HP back when he kills a hero if the card is maxed out. The second star card I recommend is Harsh Pull. Pull now deals 50 damage to any targets if it hits if the card is maxed out, opposed to not dealing any damage. The last star card I recommend is Power Reach, which grants Pool a 30% bigger area of effect to Kylo Ren's Pool. As all of you might know, there is a possibility that all the health on kill star cards for the heroes will be made a passive ability, giving us an extra slot for a star card to every hero. I will pin a comment on every hero with the star card you should use if it becomes a passive ability. I will only redo some guides if those guides are no longer up to date. For Kylo Ren, I will also pin a comment for this. I don't know how they will rework his frenzied star card if this does happen, but if it does happen, for now, without any more star cards, I think the best star card to use, instead of the frenzied one, is closing in, since it increases by 40% the distance you can close in with frenzy, and since after the latest Kylo's reworks and buffs, Frenzy is one of the best abilities in the game, in my opinion. Let's move on to health, movement and basics. Kylo has a base 750 HP and the max he can regenerate when not taking any damage is 250 HP. This is a pretty good base HP and regen value, even though there are heroes with much better values. As all lightsaber heroes, you should always be on the move and always be running, dodging and jumping when not attacking nor blocking with your lightsaber. Also, don't forget to use every possible object as cover. For some extra lightsaber tips, check my lightsaber 101 guide which teaches everything that is common to all lightsaber heroes. The link will be in the description and it will also pop up at the end of this guide. As for Kylo's lightsaber damage, after the last buff your lightsaber deals 125 damage from the front and 165 damage from behind. With this, you can 2 hit kill all infantry from the front and 1 hit kill all infantry from the back but the heavies. From behind you can 2 hit kill the heavies and also aerial reinforcements even with the HP star card. How to use pull Pull brings enemies towards you and leaves them momentarily vulnerable but it deals no damage. If you use the star cards that I recommended, you now can pull enemies from far away and deal 50 damage at the same time. You can use it as an opener attack while pulling enemies towards you and dealing some damage at the same time, and then you move in for the kill. You can use it to pull enemies into ledges. You can use it to pull your enemies and deal with them later if you are on a bad situation or at a number disadvantage. You can use it as a finisher. How to use Freeze 
Freeze deals no damage and immobilizes your target for a brief duration. You can use it to freeze an opponent as an opener attack and then move in for the kill. If you do this, try to position yourself behind your opponent so that you get that lightsaber bonus damage especially if dealing with heroes or reinforcements. You can use it to freeze an enemy and deal with him later. You can use it to freeze an enemy and run away from a bad situation. You can use it to freeze an enemy and let your blaster user teammates finish him off or at least deplete most of his HP before you attack since lightsaber attacking a freezed opponent will break him out of freeze. How to use Frenzy Frenzy deals 125 damage per hit to heroes up to a maximum of 375 damage if the three hits connect and 150 damage per hit to troopers and reinforcements up to a maximum of 450 damage if all three hits connect. While this ability is active, Kylo receives less damage. To activate this ability, you need to make sure that one target is highlighted. Every time an enemy is within range and the frenzy ability is ready to use, your target gets highlighted. If you try to activate the ability before one enemy is highlighted, the ability won't work. Frenzy jumps from target to target but only after the first target is dead. You can use it as an opener attack against any enforcers or heroes. You can use it to two hit kill an heavy or an aerial. You can use it to one hit kill all infantry but the heavy, killing up to three different targets since it attacks three times in a row and it leaps from target to target. You can even kill more than three different targets because if you have enemies standing real close to each other, you can attack more than one at the same time. You can use it as a finisher. Now let's move on to the best Kaloran combos to dominate the battlefront. Freeze plus pull. Freeze plus pull is usually a waste of your abilities, but there is one situation when I think you should use it. If you are fighting one or several powerful enemies and you can freeze them, do it. Now place yourself on the best spot to use pull to pull them into falling over ledge. Pull plus lightsaber attack. Pull plus lightsaber attack is one of the best combos against battlefront free classes and even aerials. You pull them in your direction and you finish them up with one or two lightsaber attacks depending on the class you are facing. Four classes with 150 HP like assaults, officers and specialists, the best way to use this is to jump after you pull them and hit them with a lightsaber attack in mid-air. They will die without having a chance to counterattack. You can also jump and lightsaber attack other classes, reinforcements or heroes in mid-air but keep in mind that they will not be dead and need to be attacked again before you can finish them off unless they were already weakened. Freeze plus lightsaber attack. You can freeze an enemy and then lightsaber attack him to kill him. If we are talking about all infantry but the heavies, one lightsaber attack from behind is enough to dispose of them. But if it is a more powerful enemy, you will have to keep attacking. Freeze plus Frenzy You can freeze one or several enemies and then use Frenzy to dispose of them or at least dispose of the majority of them. Pull plus Frenzy you pull one or several opponents towards yourself and use Frenzy while they are still vulnerable to dispose of them or at least do the maximum amount of damage you can if we are talking about reinforcements or heroes. How to 1v1 any hero To 1v1 any hero, never forget to alternate the rotation with blocks dodges and jumps and also just dodges and jumps to regain stamina and sometimes HP as well. For more lightsaber tips be sure to check my lightsaber 101 guide as I said before because it will help you a lot. You have two major rotations. The first one is you freeze your opponent then you move towards his back, lightsaber attack once or twice and then activate frenzy. After this 
you try to outplay him and get a few lightsaber attacks in by dodging and blocking and then attacking at the right time. When your opponent jumps or starts running away from you, you pull him in your direction and if you already have frenzy back, you use it, and if not, you use lightsaber attacks. Keep outplaying your foe until you finish him off or until you have your frenzy attack back again and finish him off with frenzy. The second rotation is exactly the same but you use pull first followed by frenzy. After that you outplay your opponent and try to get a few lightsaber attacks in and when he starts to run or jumps you freeze him. Get behind him and lightsaber attack once or twice then activate frenzy again. Keep outplaying your target until he is dead or until you regain frenzy and finish him off with another frenzy. Keep in mind that frenzy has a relatively small cooldown so you can use it more than once against the same opponent and you should use it as many times as possible. Keep in mind that these rotations are just guidelines. You can and you should adapt at all times to your opponent's type of playing. Guys I hope you liked this guide and I really hope it helped you all out. If you have any additional doubts or if I forgot to talk about anything, just leave your questions on the comment section down below and I will answer them as soon as possible and to the best of my knowledge. Follow me on Twitch and follow me on Twitter. Join me on Facebook and join me on Discord. The links will be in the description. Suga signing out and may the moustache be with you.